Uh, well, I'm going to explain everything here in a minute, what I'm doing. But basically, it's another day because me and Ethan went out. We didn't catch anything. And then I had to leave, and I ended up going back and catching just a little tiny, like, five inch or something. And I'm not satisfied with all that for being a video, so I'm coming back out here. Well, I'm at a different place, a different creek. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I can bring something and make a video out of this after all. Because there's some stuff in that, that I originally shot that I would like to keep and not have to do again. So I'm going to recycle some of that video into this one. So, yeah. So let's just go ahead and flash back to the other day. And then after some of that stuff happens, uh, we'll pick up where we are today. All right, I'm out here with Ethan. Woo, check up? check out his channel with the Chatham Fishing. I don't know. Something like that. It's something. <laughs> uh, I completely forgot my truck was actually broken down and all my tackles in the truck. So I'm doing something a little bit different today. I've only got one of these, so I know I'm going to catch something on that. But if it breaks off or I lose it or something, I'm going to go with fly, fly fishing. And Runkle sent me this nice waterproof bag since I don't have my tackle bag it's in the truck I'm gonna use this waterproof bag as, as my tackle bag for today and they also sent me a new scale so I'm hoping to try that out it's pretty awesome and yeah this thing's kind of crazy when I first got it I was trying to figure out where the zipper was to close it up but you just <laughs> fold it over like that and then snap the, the things together and it works yeah so Spark <laughs> Yeah, let's get to it. Well, the deal was that I was going to use my spinning rod until I broke off. And I'm snagged already, so I'd like to get this back. Whatever this material is they line the bottom of the river with, it just, it, 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 it eats your baits and you don't get them back. I was matching the hatch actually until right now when it got broken off. But, I mean, the fly that I have tied on should work. That did not last as long as I wanted it to. I knew I was going to lose it, but didn't think it'd be that quick. Okay, so I just had an idea of what I could do to continue using my spinning gear here. Even though I don't have any more of the regular tackle that I was going to use for it. So, let me see what exactly I have in here. If I got any good colors. All kinds of stuff in here. Ooh, got poppers. I could probably throw a popper on there. These are the flies that I have. I'm looking for something kind of green, but... Oh, here we go. This... That's great. It's a woolly bugger, a green woolly bugger. I can put that on the end. And I don't want to throw both of them, so I'm going to put something else on it. Maybe this one here some kind of like moth thing. I'm gonna put two flies on it, add a little bit of extra weight. And yeah, a little bit of extra weight and I'm gonna have it like almost like a spec rig. And I should be able to flip and flick it out there pretty hard, especially with this one, because this is a kind of fairly heavy fly. Green woolly bugger, I think that'll work actually. And this one will be off in front of it. It's actually like a salmon fly or something like that, but I think it'll work, so. Okay, I finally got it tied on. See, got the woolly bugger down here, and then whatever this butterfly moth looking thing is up here, which actually might work because there's a lot of butterflies around. The migration's going on, so. And I can sort of cast it, it's not bad. Okay. And it looks like the butterfly's floating, and it looks like the woolly bugger's following it underneath. That's cool. I mean, I can't cast it very far, but I can cast it. I just need to get this over somewhere where there's some fish. This will work. And maybe not cast it against the wind. All right, so I really wanted to make a video today and I didn't catch anything with Ethan earlier and I had to leave, I had somewhere else I needed to go. But I'm done with that now and it's, uh, it's gonna be getting dark pretty soon, but I still have a few minutes. 
so I'm gonna fall trying to do this, trying to talk while I'm talk while I'm walking. But yeah, I'm coming to check out this little creek here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can pick something up pretty soon, pretty quick. I don't have a whole lot of time, but I wanna pick something up, some kind of fish. I would like to catch a bass, but I'll take whatever. And I've done some remodeling work over here, so it might not be too, too fishable. That fence wasn't there before on that side, and there's like some new structure over there. But yeah, so anyway, try to catch something in the next few minutes here and I'm only using fly rod right now I don't have the other one I need to cast it across I think I see some beds over there like sunfish beds oh whoa something blew up on it there sunfish beds oh I don't know if you saw that but that thing went crazy he's on he's on there's a I think it's actually a bass. Wow. He blew up on it on the surface, came flying out. It's a bass. There we go. I have a video to post online now. That is insane. Look how tiny this guy is. I didn't even, I never even felt him pulling or anything. I just saw him jumping there and I knew my bait was close by. So I thought it was actually something, maybe a sunfish running from something that was close, that was checking out my bait. But there we go. Sweet. Uh, unfortunately, he's not big enough for me to test out my scale with. But you know what? Because he's so tiny, let's get a measurement on him. Let's see how how long he is. I'm guessing about five inches. It's not a good trend I've been on lately. I've been catching nothing but tiny fish. But something big just splashed a little bit up the way there. I, I should have taken this out of the box earlier, but I didn't. Oh, that's awesome. It came with lip grips to put on the scale. But I'm not going to weigh this fish. It's got a tape measure built into it. I'm gonna measure him. It's a waterproof tape measure, or waterproof scale. So the tape measure thing has to go inside to be waterproof. But anyway, let's see here. Oh, I guess five inches. He's about five and a, five and a half, almost six. Oh, and he set himself free. But I got a measurement on him. Got to use my new waterproof scale from Runkle, which I really like this thing. I needed, a, I needed a new scale, and it's almost like they knew that, and they sent me this. And it remembers the setting, too. My other scale, every time I turn it on, I would have to set it to pounds. It was always defaulted back to kgs. This one saved it at pounds. So there we go. Waterproof scale is awesome. And it came with the lip grip so if I catch a fish I can grip it on that instead of having to put it in the gills and it's a lot safer for the fish so some of those hippies that complain about my channel endangering the fish they should be happy with this dude there's so many bass here today that's cool that's awesome and they're active but they're just not if I had my regular spinning gear I'd be killing it today Oh, they're actually going after the fly line itself, not the fly. Okay, with that, I'm going to try. I, I, tie, I tied a fly just for bass with a bigger hook. That's what I'm going to try. <sighs> These bass, the bass were really active. They were actually chasing my line not the fly itself. So I put on a bigger fly that I made just for bass. And while I was tying it on, a couple of kids saw the bass and came running up and scared them all away. So now I don't know where they went. I can't find them. And they're no longer active. Okay, there's a couple of bass right there. Okay. I'm looking for the bigger ones that were here. Look at that, they are active. They're checking out my line not my flies so i gotta bring up the fly closer to them take it got him it's a little one but uh come on 
see. Oh, he came off. Damn it. I should have. I was trying to fight him to make the fight look good, but he got off. So let me come over here. Throw it over that way. I'm very happy that my fly worked. Did not take long to get one. Cannot believe I've not caught a fish yet. Oh, that was a bass, but I missed him. Totally botched that. Come on, take it. They're right on it, but they're just not biting it. Oh, no. Come on, I thought I had a fish there, but it's snagged on a rock now. I think a fish actually grabbed it and pulled it behind that rock. Got it back. Whew. All of these fish just following it and they're just like they're going in a frenzy around it, but they're not hitting it. There we oh my god, I did have one and he swam into the rocks with it again. I saw him do it that time. Look, it's moving. He's still moving with it. So Oh, come on, get out there. There might be some fish hanging out right here. Got flowing water coming through. Oh, oh, you came off. I had one. Oh, I got one. I can't believe I actually got one this tiny. Little sunfish. Come on over here. <laughs> the thing with fly fishing is a lot of times this is what you catch. Oh, it's out of my hand. And he's free. Okay. Whew. Oh. Do I got I got another one. This one's a little bit better. It's fighting a little bit harder. Just really, man, because I'm gonna move on after this. Two fish back to back. It's another little sunfish. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna move on because it looks like that's all that there is over here. Seen a lot of bass, haven't been able to land any. I've only landed two little sunfish. Oh, there we go, got one. It's a little bit bigger than the other ones, but not by much. They never want to sit still for the picture. There we go, there's another one. Another little tiny one. So this fly that I tied this morning is actually pretty decent design uh, just a little bit of marabou olive it's actually kind of long but it's a very light amount so it's yeah and then some uh, I think quail feather something it's a nymph with just a long tail marabou tail oh <laughs> had one didn't even realize it it's the biggest one of the day been so hot lately it's only the active one or the only only the little ones that are active got one I think this is a cichlid 
be the third species of the day and this is the biggest fish of the day. Rio Grande cichlid. Not a particularly big one, but they uh, they fight pretty hard. And they got teeth. All right, I'm gonna move on now. Got one, what do we got? It's the best sunfish so far today. Of course my uh, fly is getting uh, undone now.